Cheers. Cheers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Had a little time off here because we've been traveling. Andy was traveling. We were traveling. Everybody was traveling. And now we're back. I say we weren't off. We were working. We were. We were at a e-commerce meetup conference event thing, learning lots of things about the behind the scenes stuff of how to do great stuff for you all. So My area. Won't bore yeah. you about that too yeah. much, but it was in Charleston, South Carolina. It was the first time we'd ever been there. It was quite a pleasant city, got yeah. to say. Their food I, is phenomenal. It, yes. It's really good. Reminded me a lot of New Orleans. Had kind of a New Orleans southern mm. kind of southern. feel. Yeah, minus yeah. all the like parades randomly in the street. Right. Didn't have as much of that going on in Charleston. But they did have a nice pineapple fountain they in did. the waterfront park. That was really nice. So today, <laughs> We're going to talk about the Montegrappa Fortuna yes. Copper Mule and the new Mini Mule. Kind of compare the two side by side. I thought with our different size hands, it would yeah. uh, be helpful. Yeah. Be very different size hands. We've showed this before. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. I got like monster hands. So, some pens fit well in your hand and are too mm -hmm. big for me, and others, you yeah. know, nice for me, are too small for you. And one, like the Copper Mule, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty heavy pen. It's solid metal. So it feels pretty substantial, and uh, for me, it's it's a very appropriately sized pen. Uh, for you, it's probably it tad feels, big. Yeah, I mean, unposted even, it's it's too heavy for me. Too heavy. It's it's a good size. It's just too heavy. Okay. And posted, it's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you fall over like that when you, yep. your pens are posted? <laughs> yep. <laughs> What's this picture of you actually going to write with your pen <laughs> and falling out of your chair? Well, that's tragic. We wouldn't want that to happen. Um, this is Brian's personal. Yeah, I, I thought it'd be a fun opportunity to pull this out because I've had one of these for, I don't know, a year and a half or so. Easier to show it on the paper? Yeah, I have never polished it. And, that's uh, that's kind of gross. I like it, though. It's copper. It's copper patina. Like I mean, a that's, penny? You can't fake that. Yeah, it's kind of like an old penny. I mean, kind of literally. Do you want to hold them up, Rachel? Yeah. There you go. Is that better? So yeah, this one is bright and shiny. The other one is never polished. So this is what one. it will look like when it arrives to you. And this yeah. is what it will look like if you don't ever polish it. If you give it time. But it comes, um, both of, they come with a polishing cloth. So yes. it's. Not to crop as thoughtful about It's that. really what you prefer. If you want to keep mm -hmm. it nice and shiny, you have the ability to do that. If you want it to look like a dirty penny, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks, dear. It's a matter of preference. Never heard anybody describe it as a dirty penny. Well, I mean, isn't that what it, you know? It's, it's kind of accurate, it's true, I guess. right? <laughs> I mean, wow. you could polish your pennies if you want to. You could. Or you could just polish the body and pennies, leave the cap nasty. Pennies are kind of useless these days anyway. You can't well, use there's them that. Anywhere. So, um, they, they, this has been out for several years now, mm -hmm. and they just introduced the Mini Mule. Yeah. Um, it has the same shape. Um, the same features, it's just smaller, um, smaller around, smaller in length, and it has a smaller nib. Yes. And it's much lighter as well. It is. So it's going to be much uh, well suited, much better suited, I guess, to those with smaller hands. He's just so shiny, I can see my face and it's weirding me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weirding me out. Break it out. It's got a screw cap, <clears throat> um, cartridge converter. Standard international cartridge converter. Yep. Converter included. Cartridges um, separately. Yeah, it's got a couple of black cartridges that come with it. So you can um, see like my fingerprints on this as I go. Mm -hmm. But um, that to me is a better weight, honestly. I think. You like it better posted? I think posted? posted would be just just right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, posted for me is probably going to be pretty essential. So I got a bigger hand. I mean, it'll no, actually that's not bad. That's not bad because it's got a bit of weight to it. It's a tad on the thin side. I mean, the difference between the grips on these two pens is pretty substantial yeah. to me. And I mean, then that, is a, that is a very Turn different around. that is a very different feeling uh, grip. Now these used to back when the pen first came out, the Copper Mule, the big one, uh, it had Bach nibs, mm -hmm. but then they They're switched Yobo over now. to Yobo probably about a year ago or somewhere around there. Um, so now it's all Yobo. So they're yes. gonna be nice writing nibs. And these are what a number five. That I think looks the small smaller. Good question. It feels like something I should know. Yeah, we should know that. But don't <laughs> at this moment. Much like how I guess if we grab right some now. other pens, we'd be able to compare it. But um, yeah, we will update the description when we figure that out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, copper mule, mini mule. Mm -hmm. What else? What else do you want to? I wanted to dip test this little okay. one. This little mini mini one. What nib says medium? Yeah, this is a medium. Okay. You know, I'm pretty familiar with. Yobo mediums. Got some compacty. Yeah, I'm just dip testing. Dip testing is not going to get you a necessarily the greatest sense of flow, but it'll get a sense of nib feel. So let me get it going here. I don't if think you I dipped it enough. 
your ink level is getting kind of low. It is getting kind of low. You know, this is Conpecky. I've been using it for a while. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice and smooth. Okay, so now I'm actually writing. I never know what to write, but I'm just going to do some scribbles. You can write the name of the okay. pen. Would you say generally that if you have a number six nib and say it's a number five or number four, and they're uh -huh. both mediums, would you expect them to write the same way, or would you expect the smaller nib to write smaller? Or um, they should generally be close to the same, especially if they're from the same manufacturer, but it's not always necessarily the case. Um, it's pretty much like when you change nib sizes, like size of the actual nib itself, the rules kind of go out the window and you need to kind of evaluate mm. on its own Relative again. to that size. Yeah. Now it's a pretty stiff nib. I can get a little bit, a little bit of line variation if I press on it a bit, but that's not really what it's for. So I wouldn't press that too much. Give it a shot. What do you think? That's nice. It's good. It's very, very smooth. The yeah. medium, it feels to me like it feels like a very true kind of German medium. Um, which you would expect from maybe a Lamy medium. It has like just a, a really small hint of feedback. It isn't like butter glass, but it's really smooth. Butter glass? Butter Is that glass. A thing? Yeah. Okay. Like if you went broad, <laughs> I'm sure you'd get that. But I'm a broad girl, so. I don't think, yeah, that's true. Okay. You Fair know. Enough. So yeah. even a medium to a broad, I'm like, oh, this isn't as gushy. Well, yeah, because it's a medium. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit different. But it is really smooth. It is really yeah. enjoyable to write with. Yeah. So anyway, we have both of these available now. You can check them out. They're a little we, bit less expensive, not like It's like a $20 shattering. difference, yeah. Yeah, it's 300 for the copper mule, mm -hmm. 280 for the mini mule. So it's really just about your personal preference. More it's, or less. It's really, like, everything is the same. It's just the size and the weight. So... Mm -hmm really about your preference there you go and uh, we're gonna be coming up with some more exciting stuff in right now coming soon honestly we had this as kind of a backup topic in the wings right because we have the Banu Titan that we're gonna be talking about next week and Safari then we have the pastels. Lamy Safari pastels which we're waiting on the shipment to arrive we were gonna talk about those today but they didn't come in time so we'll be have that forthcoming here pretty soon Q&A will be back on schedule this week so we'll be getting back into the group here for you soon. So be sure to head on to GoodlyPens.com, check these out, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and right on. Right on.